So for me, I go with the muzzle that the dog has the capabilities of opening up their mouth just a little bit in the event that they start to breathe heavy. Um, this particular muzzle is by Ultra, and you could also fit treats um, through the little muzzle hole there as well. So those are a couple of the reasons why I particularly like these ones. Okay, guys, muzzle conditioning 101. You can't expect to put this on a dog's muzzle and for them to just be okay with it. Okay, it's nine out of ten times it just doesn't work like that. Your miracle dog might just put it on and go and be cool with it. Okay, so with that being said, we have a conditioning process, which is the process we take a dog through in order for them to ultimately feel comfortable wearing this. Okay, and you're going to see that in the content that I am about to shoot. All right, this is just your average basket muzzle. So peanut butter is usually a really high value reward for a dog. So you know we had to bust out the peanut butter for this. This is my, my own dog, Rosie, here. She's not muzzle trained. And so I thought she'd be a good dog to use for this video. Busting out my basket style muzzle. This particular muzzle is actually a little too big for Rosie and uh, you just saw the little clicker. Okay, I like to use a clicker for this particular drill because a clicker is a clear and precise marker for, for the behavior that we like. I'm gonna click and then I'm gonna pay. I should pay. Bam, click, pay, perfect. So as, as you can see, we're not just putting it on her. Like, we put it on her muzzle, take it off, click, pay. And you'll see me do that a couple more times. I'm actually putting the peanut butter inside the muzzle where she's gonna be able to lick the peanut butter, take her, uh, her mind and her focus off of the thing being on her muzzle and uh, more so it being on the reward. <laughs> so we've got to get it on there and then boom, we keep it on there for a sec. She's enjoying it. So the trick is just to get this thing on your dog and have it on there as long as you can without there being any defiance happening. So it's on right now. Like I'm stoked. Obviously it's not all the way on, but at this point in the game, this is all I'm after. Super stoked. So I'm probably gonna pull it away and when I do, I'm gonna click and I'm gonna pay her with another high value, which is a little bit of moist meat. Awesome, so as you can see, this experience for her isn't very traumatic at all. This is like the, the beginning stages. So now I bring the strap over, because that's what I'm gonna do with this particular style muzzle. Comes right over the top of the head, above the ears. Boom, click, pay, good job, Rosie. So you can see the pattern here. So dogs learn through patterns and associations. The pattern is it goes on, she gets rewarded, it comes off, she gets rewarded again. The association is a positive one because she's learning to put this on while getting rewarded at the same time. Patterns, associations, makes sense, right? Perfect, bam, click, pay, good job, Rosie. And then you just try to push the boundaries more and more and more and more and more. How much longer can I keep it on here? I like to maybe I like to practice during meal time as well. You know, when it's time to feed meals, um, reward the dog through the little hole, Muzzle put the up. kibble right through the little hole, let them eat. Good. If they won't eat the kibble, you wait till they're hungry enough till they will eat the kibble. Put some more on there. Muzzle up. Bam. Good. Muzzle. Good girl. And here before long, you'll, you'll see me attach the muzzle command to it. At first, it, you're not, don't, you don't have to say muzzle because you're just trying to get them acquainted with this thing. And then after so many repetitions, you can start attaching the muzzle command. I think I use muzzle up. Good. Muzzle up just before good I girl. put it on, put it on, boom, good job, Rosie. Good. Good muzzle. Good girl. Good muzzle. Probably gonna click and play. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Good job, Rose. So why was I using peanut butter? Why was I using food? Why was I using a clicker? Well, I explained a little bit over in the voiceover in the content, but I gotta use food. I gotta use what the dog is motivated by because I want this muzzle to have a positive association attached to it. That's what we're trying to get to in the end the dog to just have it on their face and accept the fact that they have it on their face. But if we just slap it on and go, ah, it creates conflict and we don't want to create conflict. We want to go through this slow conditioning process 
so that the dog becomes comfortable with it. Now, anybody can put the muzzle on the dog. Because when they see muzzle, they think, ah, peanut butter, or, <laughs> you know? And I guess the ultimate trick is getting it on their face a lot, every day, repetitions, every day, pushing the boundaries as far as how, the duration, pushing the duration. You saw in the video, duration, 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 take it off, click, pay. I use the clicker as a marker. If you don't know what the clicking was, you saw as soon as I took it off, click, pay. It's a marker that I was happy with how long you kept the muzzle on your face without being defiant. And of course I had the peanut butter as a way to also keep her mind off of this contraption on her face. Now mind you, that specific dog has never had a muzzle on her face before. So we did use a dog that is completely not muzzle trained as an example for you guys. I hope this is beneficial. If you have any further questions or if something pops up and you're not exactly sure, even after watching this entire video and using all of these tips, please let me know. I'd be happy to answer any further questions that you might have. I'm Captain Chad Gabs, and I appreciate you supporting Team Floppy Ears, okay? Happy muzzle training.